Okay, hello everyone. This is Gary from uh, Sage Ireland, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview um, of our fully native cloud product, Sage Business Cloud Accounting, and more importantly, the Accounting Partner Edition, um, which typically is going to be used by um, accountants. So in this particular case, um, I have three clients on my book. Um, within the Partner Edition, I'm able to prepare final accounts, but if your client has also granted you access to their instance of Sage Business Cloud Accounting, you'll also be able to access their data from within the Partner Edition screen. So in this particular example, I'm gonna take Mellon Call Green Grocers, and Bill Butcher is the contact, and I'm just going to go into his Sage Accounting instance just before I prepare the final end of your accounts, just to make sure everything kind of looks well and looks as it should. So within the report, I'm just gonna have a quick look at the trial balance, and in this particular case, I'm going to look at the one prepared for year end 2018. So I'm just gonna have a quick sense check, make sure everything looks well. Property plant equipment, we've got just under 3 million in debtors. Um, as I'm scrolling down, I'm going to make sure that that kind of ties in with the expected sales product. And we can see, yeah, it's roughly what we'd expect, minus a few adjustments here and there. The trial balance, most importantly balances, we've just got under 14 million um, on the TB. So everything looks good. If at this point I wanted to do any adjustments or any year end journals, um, I can click on the adjustments here and I can just go into journals and I can start entering journals of anything that's been, let's say, forgotten or uh, misrepresented or whatever the case may be. Um, in this particular set of accounts, I did do an opening balance um, for the 1st of December and then coming up just before the Christmas period, as the case may be, uh, the 21st, we've just done a year end final. At any point, if you want to go in and check what the journal is, we can just click on the actual journal name and you can see there's the, the entries, debits and credits um, on the left and the right respectively. Um, if I just go back one screen, you can see that for this particular client as well, um, I've also opted to um, fill in and front load the uh, depreciation journal. And you can see there that for the year um, going into uh, 2018, 2019, the, the journals have been front loaded. So to go back then and prepare a set of final year end accounts for this client, I'm just gonna go back into my main um, uh, home screen here. And from this, I'm just gonna click on the actual client in question. I'm prompted then, do I want to go into the payroll instance if they have a Sage Business Cloud payroll? I can go back into their Business Cloud accounting, of course, but in this case, I'm just gonna jump in and create the year-end accounts for the client. Now, you can see there's one here already that's been in draft, and this may have been completed either by yourself, but let's say some adjustments have been made on the main data set, or you may have had a, a junior trainee carry out this, and there might be errors, or you may want to just do it yourself to see that it ties up. So we're gonna go and create a new set of accounts, this, by the way, has no impact on the ones that are in progress that we've just seen. The period start date then is going to be uh, the start of Jan 2018 because we're going to do the full 2018 uh, year end accounts. So I'm just going to go back and select 18 here. And then the period description is the year end. You can also do a period end, which would be good if you're doing management accounts monthly for your client. Um, create brought four balances. I'm just going to leave this blank and I'm going to also um, opt to lock down transactions in business cloud. So this will actually prevent transactions going in before the period end date or before the year end date for the client. And I'm going to opt then to create a new uh, set of accounts here. So as you can see then with the current period selected for this particular set of accounts is the full year for 2018. Um, comparative period, so if we had a done um, a final set of accounts in the prior year, this would show us a comparative on the management account layout. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. And then we just select, okay, a bit more about the company. So it's in Republic of Ireland, it's a limited company. We're gonna say it's a small entity and compliant with FRS 102. We do have the option then as well to prepare uh, dormant and abridged accounts. In this case, I'm just gonna select no and yes, uh, respectively, and leave that as is. So we save that. And what will happen now is it's gonna start linking into the trial balance. We'd be opted then to say, okay, do you want to import it or populate from Business Cloud? So in this case, because we have access to the client, we're going to populate this from Business Cloud Accounting. So as we can see, everything's been mapped across from Sage Business Cloud Accounting's trial balance here on the left, and now was brought into the uh, Sage Final Accounts initial trial balance on the right. Now, down the bottom left here, you can see that we've got 93% of uh, matching done uh, so far as ledger accounts are concerned. So I'm just gonna scroll down and see which ones have, uh, have not been matched. So you can see the 2,600 uh, long-term loans, mortgages, liabilities. So it's asking us then to select a nominal account for this. 
So this may be, okay, was it a debenture or, you know, a bank loan to fund a PPE acquisition or whatever the case may be. I'm just going to leave it as a long-term bank loan there for the 27. Um, then we look at dividends. So again, I think in the initial trial balance, there is an interim dividend paid, or we can have it come from the profit and loss account as a payable. So again, for this, I'm just going to say, okay, of the 7,000 here, both are uh, applicable. And we're going to say the profit and loss account, the dividends paid, let's say we paid 1,000 out, maybe as an interim. And then we're carrying then a balance um, of an, another uh, 6,000 and that will be payable uh, going forward. And we just hit confirm on that one. Once we're happy enough, um, we've got a 100% match, so we can hit save. But if at any point you want to go up and look at one of these uh, other, uh, let, let, let's take property, plant um, and equipment, we can also edit this as well. So of that 170, what's been brought forward, what's an addition, what's a disposal, have there been any acquisitions, etc. So it gives you kind of flexibility to continue mapping letters, even though they're currently mapped. You can go ahead and hit save on this. And then once we hit save, we can see then that the actual standard trial balance for business cloud accounting is now uh, fixed and filled in. And this, of course, ties back to the client set of accounts to 13,961. We can also then do create journal here as well if we needed to do any last minute adjustments for whatever reason or take stuff in to or out of suspense. Um, that, that can be also done. And finally, then, once this is done, we can also then kind of have a look at what the accounts will look like. So do we want to do a revenue, CRO, or member set of accounts? In this case, let's say we want to do the member set of accounts. We can click on this and it will open up then the actual template for your typical uh, management month-end accounts that you'll be asking on to your client. So once that's done, then we can have a quick look through of how the member set of accounts may look. Um, and, and just to kind of, I suppose, give a quick overview of some of the things we can do. So we can have a look at, let's say, the, um, the P&L appropriation. So we can see there kind of at a glance that that's also, you know, the figures are pulled automatically from the mapping of the trial balance. We can look then at the SOCE to see any movements in shareholders, equity, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then any notes to the financial statements, you know, and these can be added um, as applicable. So, you know, if you want to change the accounting policies or make note of them or reference to them, basis of preparation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but again, it, it, it's a full, I suppose, direct link from business cloud accounting into final accounts online. Um, and as I say, you can also then do the revenue and CRO set of accounts as well.